Hi, I'm Megan Hess. Um, I'm a registered Maine guide and the owner of Beadhead Fly Fishing. I'm also a commercial fly tire, and I'm going to show you how to tie one of my most productive Maine flies. So we're going to tie the Golden Retriever. It's a nice pattern because there's only three uh, materials that you need. So we're going to use Marabou, which is in ginger, the color ginger, and we're going to use red yarn, uh, obviously a very cheap material and easy to get and then UV Estaz, which is in the peach color. So first we're gonna start with our streamer hook. I like to use size eight or 10 for these um, with a brass bead or a tungsten bead. So I have this locked into my vise. I have some red thread. I'm gonna latch on, cut my tag end. Typically when you're tying flies, you wanna work on the back of the fly towards the head of the fly. So we're gonna tie on our tail first, which is our marabou. So as you can see, this is blood quill marabou, and we want to preen it back and take all the fuzzies off the back of the fly here, or the back of the feather. It makes the material a little more manageable. So I like the length of my tail to be the length of the shank. So if I'm holding it up here and measuring it out, I know, okay, this is where my tie-in point can be. Give a few good wraps off the back. I like to lift it up, move it to the head, and clip it off right behind the bead. And the reason I like to do this is because I want a nice uniform body on the shank. So I'm gonna, I can preen this down now and tie over the top. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Estaz. Like I said, this is in the color peach, but it has some UV flash in it so it really gets the fish's attention. I want to expose the inside core or the inside rope. Tie it in on top. And I can let this hang for now until I'm ready to wrap it towards the front. So the next thing I'm going to do is tie in my red yarn. I'm going to advance my thread to the top again so that I can tie in on the top and go all the way back so I have that nice uniform body. Next, advance my thread to the front and I can start wrapping my underbody. And this yarn is nice because it makes a nice uniform body underneath it, but also when fish start to bite it, it'll chew it up a little bit and some of those fibers from the yarn will start coming back and it'll give it a really nice look. Pull my fiber up and tie it off. Now for the final step, I can tie in my Estaz. So I'm just gonna clip a little bit of it off. I'm gonna do the same wrapping motion. Whenever you're wrapping materials, you're always wrapping away from you. And the reason you do that is because then when you take your thread and tie it on, you're also wrapping in that same motion and it's tightening down that material. The important thing when you're wrapping your Estaz is to make sure you leave some spaces. So you see I didn't do touching wraps, which means that it's right next to each other. I made a few gaps because I want that red body to be exposed underneath. You can snip off your Estaz. Clean up the collar a little bit with some nice wraps. And now I'm going to use my whip finisher or you can use your hands and knot off and finish the fly. There's your size eight golden retriever. When I was originally given this fly when I moved to Maine, the gentleman had told me that it mimicked a golden shiner um, in their spawning colors. So typically they'll be kind of this golden color with a red stripe down their body and they're really pretty when they're spawning. And so that's a common bait fish that's in a lot of rivers and streams around here and also in ponds. Um, so maybe that's why it's, it's so effective and it's so productive. So I typically like to use golden retrievers in streams and rivers and um, I'll put it at the end of my leader and I'll cast 45 angle downstream and I like to strip it back. So I like to swing it with the current and then strip it back like it's mimicking a little bait fish. For more fishing tips and tricks like this, visit oldtownwatercraft.com. <laughs>